Um, Nothing like this has ever happened to me before. The blood. It's probably the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Well, fine, considering. I got back into the house today, and that was weird knowing your people have been there through my things. It's like I've been burgled. Only worse, obviously. I don't know. I haven't lived in the cellar yet. They sent a cleaner in. As good as new, he said. But they had to throw some stuff out. Couldn't get the blood out. And I'm still waiting to hear from the coroner so we can get a date set for the funeral. It's going to be a cremation. So. Scylla. See, it's, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not putting it away. I'm, put, I'm just keeping him there. She was sat behind him. She had my wig on. She'd been there all day. And she had blood on her. And she was in shock. It was after dinner. I had spoken to Sam's parents on the phone. I looked up for an early night and I suddenly had this thought. I think it was something his mother had said. She'd been speaking about old stuff, sad stuff. About when we lived there, about the baby. There's some boxes in the cellar, nursery stuff, stuff we never needed. And I never had the heart to throw out. And I suddenly remembered that when I'd looked down there the week before, those boxes, that pile was in the wrong place. I went cold all over. I went down there with a torch and went straight to the back. And that's when I saw the bin bags. Pulled them open. Saw the body. I screamed and that's when I called the police. Okay. Body, bin bags. Yeah. The whole thing was wrong. Bags. I, I think they were from our kitchen. You can probably check that. We never go into the cellar. It's just a place we put things we don't need. Dad used to grow mushrooms there. The, the bags were taped up. I think it was parcel tape, but I think it was ours. Lati Daj can afford a place of a cellar. We hardly had to talk to each other. We agreed almost silently. The baby was what mattered. We'd help each other. We cleaned up. We bagged up the broken mirror, her clothes. They're gone. 
we took him down to the cellar. We knew I, we had an alibi and we wanted the body to be found later. We wanted to have suspicion on us so we could then disprove it rather than have it longer. Better to keep the body in the house than risk being seen with it. The watch, that was my touch to make sure the alibi stuck. Watch. She has mentioned the watch before. I guess you could call it that, but we were both, both happy to get married. It was a beautiful wedding. <laughs> we had our first dance to come back and stay. I'm not sure if that's a good wedding song, but I loved it. I chose it. I mean, it was genuinely our first dance. We'd never danced together before. It was probably awful to watch, but... I enjoyed it. It felt like it was just me and Simon for that moment. Just the two of us. Yeah, that's Simon's watch. It was a gift from Eric. He got it this year. It was a wedding anniversary gift. Steel. It would have been Diane who chose it. She has really nice taste. That time. You must eliminate me. I was in Glasgow then. Steel. Glasgow. Glasgow's a red herring, but... Mother wanted me to grow my hair long, but I kept cutting it myself. I wanted to look like my reflection. She always had short hair when she was little. Mother would hide the scissors, but I would find a way. Cut it with a bread knife, something like that. My reflection would always leave her house and go on adventures, but I never could. Mother taught me at home and I had books and TV. Oh, TV was magical, but it was only on when it wanted to be, so I spent a lot of time reading books. There's a girl and she's staring out of the window. She's sad. She's trapped. She's here. 
She's looking out the window because her mother won't let her out. More Rapunzel. Well, she wasn't my real mother, but she raised me. Do you want to hear the story? It's a real life fairy tale. I already know the story. I'll look up real. He has a wallet, a huge silly thing, leather, real leather, I think. He packs it full of stuff, business cards, receipts, lottery tickets. He always carries it in his back pocket. I think that's why he's got a bad back. Or sets the discs. I haven't seen it, so he must have it on him. He always takes it out of his back pocket before when he comes in. If he's in the house. Sorry, sorry. The picture, the way it's drawn, just reminded me of the books we used to read as children. I read those fairy tales over and over, and they were so real to me. Rapunzel was my favourite. My brain is just full of it. How many of these in colour? Right, um, we'll do Rapunzel. I want to do Reflection, don't I? Did it pass? Sorry, let me start with all that Rapunzel stuff. Do you need me to do that card again? We were obsessed with fairy tales. Not just the pretty pretty ones, but the traditional ones. They were dark and real, bizarre and violent. Felt like life. We had this huge old book that I think Mum must have bought from a library sale. The illustrations had thin tracing paper over them to protect them. They were in colour, shiny plates. At the front of the book, was an index of illustrations. We read that more than the actual stories. We'd read aloud the captions and flip between the pictures. There was something intimate about peeling back the tracing paper and dressing the pictures. Rapunzel's hair was cut. The eagle plucks out his heart. The princess pricks her finger. Very. Very and pictures. Yes. The first time we saw each other, it was strange. We both realised at the same moment, I think. We must have seen each other before, but there was this instant when we first realised it wasn't a reflection. The reflection was staring back. I think I was five. It was my birthday. My reflection was wearing a party hat and waving. I knew what party hats were from books. And it suddenly occurred to me, today must be my birthday. I waved back and we just spent ages waving at each other and copying each other's movements. I wanted to see my reflection. I thought that if I touched her, something would happen. We would become one, one girl. The 
fairy tale was over, the witch was dead, and I'd be restored to my rightful place. Yes, I read a lot as a child and watched lots of TV. Then the doll's house we had, we still have in the attic. It's kind of a fairy castle. We used to play out there and make up our own stories. Doll house. Simon never cheated on me. He was devoted to me. And I was devoted to him. Nothing in life is easy. We were good to each other. Life isn't a fairy tale. You do what you can. Fairy tales. Stories about lost princesses, evil witches, magical mirrors and lost children. So you see, even before I knew the truth, I'd found it in those stories. Okay. Princesses. I'm not sure where the dollhouse came from. I don't know if it was given to them or they inherited it. I mean, they wouldn't have had the money to buy it. It was so huge. It must have been taken up to the attic in parts and then reassembled up there. It is a beautiful thing. Wallpaper to scale, little furniture, the lights work, mirrors, beds, big duvets and pillows. We spent hours and hours playing it, we invented all these characters and families who lived there. We wrote paperwork for them all, passports, diaries, and gave them all really elaborate stories. Once, a moth got trapped in there. We'd left a light on. It was making the most horrendous noise. We tried to kill it, but it was tough. We ended up crushing it under a copy of the Arabian Nights. Yes, I inherited it from my parents so it made sense to move back, me and Simon. Felt like going back to old ways before the pregnancy. It reminded me of being a girl, a dollhouse in the attic, old things. We didn't sleep in my parents' bedroom for a long time. We decorated it as soon as we moved in, but it was another year before we started sleeping there. Mm. She recognised me from the window. She told me to come inside and she hid me. They had made the attic into a place where Hannah could play. It was a dollhouse. She hid me up there. No one else ever went into the attic. It was her place. The 
legal stuff was completed very quickly. Han moved back in with Simon. Eric gave Simon the week off to help with the move. He decorated, modernised wallpaper curtains. Hannah insists the attic be left as it was, dollhouse and all. Simon never went up there. I'll do the baby one now. We spent the wedding night in a hotel in Brighton. It would have been too much to do more. We were saving for the baby. It was wonderful to be in a hotel, away from home, just alone together. Since then, we've always tried to get away for our holiday. The Brighton holiday. We couldn't afford our own place. Simon dropped out of school, went full time at the Glaziers. That was Eric's generosity. We moved in with his mum and dad. They had a spare room for us and the baby, if it came. It was a nice change, time to myself, living there for those months, full of hope. No. I lost the baby. I had a miscarriage at eight months. We carried on living at Simon's parents until that was only a few months after. Yes. It was a shock to him. I mean, we never thought it was possible. I don't know what he... I mean, I hadn't decided whether to keep the baby. I wasn't really ready to talk to him about it. really nice. She helps out at the glaziers, organises the Christmas party, that sort of thing. They have two kids, really sweet kids. She used to look out for me when I worked there. Diane? Who would have a song? Not really. He would go to the pub, he had his drinking buddies there, but no one ever really came back to the house. Sometimes Eric, his boss, and his wife would come in for dinner, but that would be us returning the favour. Diane is a really good cook, into her trendy ingredients. And the last time Simon cooked something off Master Chef, he got the recipe off Seafax, and I did my Lloyd Grossman bit, commenting from the sidelines. I had to find fennel from the supermarket. Have you ever eaten fennel? Fennel. Simon and Eric arguing? No, I can't imagine they'd be arguing. I mean, they get on so well. Unless it was something to do with work. Maybe Simon was being too much of a perfectionist. But. I don't know. You should ask Diane. Thank you. And what did your wife do? She didn't kill you. You think I killed Simon because he was having an affair? Well, I didn't kill him. I wasn't even there. I was in Glasgow, worrying about whether my baby was still growing inside me. I mean, why would I kill Simon? I loved him! Oh... Well, the long hair doesn't necessarily indicate it's Eve, because she could be wearing a wig. You hear about 
was quiz with people all the time. I mean, why would anyone who knew Simon want to kill him? An affair. Simon wasn't having an affair. You're reaching here, and I don't know why. No, I've never cheated on anyone. I've never taken anything from anyone. Simon is dead. But I have my baby to care for. Why are you trying to make me sad? Why are you so obsessed with sex and affairs? You cheated on your wife. Is this your thing? Well, we're going a lot faster now. Mum and Dad never knew what was going on. Got so good at it. We were so in sync that we'd use each other to cheat. If one of us had a hangover, the other one would go to school. Whoever was best at a subject would sit the exam. There were lots of differences between us. Some things one is better than the other at. Difference is better. No, I have never been unfaithful. I've never cheated on Simon. Have I ever cheated on Simon? You asked that question yesterday. It was supposed to be a secret. Just because Simon is dead, it doesn't mean I have to give up all his secrets. It doesn't have anything to do with what happened to Simon. No one murdered my husband because he cheated his expenses for a romantic weekend in Oxford. Oxford secret. I dust every week, maybe less. I once asked Eleanor how often I should dust and she said, if people ask, tell them you do it once a week, but every few weeks it's okay. I think she was just trying to make me feel better. I mean, when I was there, she was hoovering every day you know, around an ordered house. You know how that generation is, putting on a brave front. Hmm. She has secret stashes of cigarettes. Doug doesn't even know she smokes. When I was there, I saw her. She has these sort of porcelain vases, ornamental, next to the Reader's Digest books. Cigarettes inside. And she still has them. I mean, last time I was there, I looked in a vase. There was a fresh pack. I mean, all those years of marriage, and she still has a secret like that. Okay. Doug. Oh no. Whatever. We'll figure out. Um. Lean. And I should die. When we weren't together, we'd send secret messages by tapping out a code that we'd learn from a book, the knock code, something prisoners of war would use. We'd tap them out on 
radiator pipes or the attic floor. She's done that before. Dad thought we had mice, but I couldn't find any. Got a cat anyway. Lock. Could. Cat. No, they were shut. Most of the windows are really hard to open anyway. It's stifling in summer. They were painted over by my dad. Could have left a door open accidentally. Oh, there's a cat flap in the back door. Flap. No, no cat. My parents had a cat before they died called Domino. Was this little black thing with white dots? And we never did anything about the cat flap, but if you were thin, you could maybe squeeze through it. Domino. We loved our cat, Domino. Um, he had this little bell around his neck to stop him from killing birds in the garden. And we used to write each other notes and put them in the bell and we'd give a sentiment to each other. Mum found some of the notes once and she thought I was just writing to myself because our handwriting was identical. And we had our own words for things, so she didn't quite understand them anyway. Notes. Okay, what's up with this? Yes. Ah. Uh. Okay, well, we're gaining the information. No. Sarah. It's understandable. So Sarah's using the computer. Okay, hang on. I would have been a good mother. Uh, Oxford. There was a conference, something to do with double glazing, in Oxford. Are you sure? What would you be doing in Oxford if there was no conference? I remember calling him. Said it was boring and he spent most of the time at the bar. Okay, so I'm getting that I'm I'm assuming he had an affair with the sister and one of them murdered the other one for it. I mean one of them murdered Simon for it.
I got pregnant. Both our parents had a big powwow. We weren't even in the room. And they decided we should get married. Yes, I'm fine. I won't be sick again. This happened some days. I'm pregnant. It's morning sickness. Okay, yeah. When I arrived in Glasgow, I was exhausted. The streets were empty. I was driving badly. And I hit a taxi. Not a big crash, just paintwork. The guy was so pissed off because I didn't have a driving license on me. But when I told him I was pregnant, he made sure I got to the hospital so they could check me out. It was fine. The hospital must have details when I was looked at. There's a scratch on the car. Um, am I done? Yeah, so I've done 50% of the videos, apparently. Uh, but there are credits. And like, and when you watch the credits, of it. so like, we're, we're we're not done, is what I'm getting. Oh, I see. Uh, so if we exit the game, we'll get the credits. Okay, fair enough. But that'll give us a hint, so we'll do that. Sorry, I, I closed the thing. I didn't realise I hadn't turned the skin back on. Right, well, I'm not quite done yet, but when I hit credit screens, I tend to, um... put this up to say thank you very much for watching, of course. Uh, that I've been John Chuck, I've been having a Her Story adventure. Uh, but we're not quite done. We've only watched half the videos, right? So... Yeah, I turned off the software, I didn't even exit the computer. But I understand it's going to point me in a direction. So yeah, I, I'm assuming... He found out about the sister, started out having a relationship with her, and the uh, mother killed... Uh, oh, I've forgotten her name. It's uh, Hannah. Hannah killed Simon because Simon was having an affair with Eve. Something more going on that I'm missing. 
or she's crazy, you know, it could be just make, made up. She doesn't like her stories. She has definitely lied. How long have we been doing this? A couple of hours. It's gone all weird. Thank you for listening. Sarah, if you're stuck, you can try admin vandom or the unlock command. <laughs>